What is your take on same-sex relationships? You want to take this yeah, one? Yeah, I'll be glad to take this one. <laughs> we agree. So, so yeah, we agree on the this. Same, same answer. Okay, so evangelicalism in, in America today has gotten goofy because of what uh, the media covers as far as evangelicals. Now, I consider myself to be a conservative, conservative meaning theologically, evangelical, meaning that I believe that Jesus Christ is the only way to God, and I believe it's our job to reach the world through evangelism. But in the media, we're portrayed as the people that hate um, sex, beer, and gays. Like, literally, it's like they hate sex, beer, and gays. And I, I, just, I just want you to know, I, I don't hate gay people. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate sex either. I don't really like beer, but I've had people tell me it's because I've never drank the right kind. And I'm like, it just, it tastes like pee. So no, I don't, I don't, so I don't, but if you, anyway, I preached a whole sermon on drinking one time. You can go back and listen to it. Um, but I don't hate gay people. I've had people say, pastors hate gay people. No, I, I, I can't stand religious people. And, but I don't hate gays. And listen, this is coming from a guy that was molested twice as a kid, both times by men. So I, I think I have a little authority to, to speak about this. I don't, I don't hate gay people. But homosexuality is listed in the scriptures as a sin. And so what scripture calls sin, the church needs to be willing to step up and call sin. Now let me say this. It is put in the category of sexual sin. So homosexuality... And adultery are sexual sin. The problem in the church is the people committing adultery look down on the people committing homosexuality. And that is hypocritical and judgmental and self-righteous and arrogant. Sexual sin is sexual sin. So the take on same-sex relationships is it's, I think it's wrong biblically. I think it's wrong biologically. I, I, I just think it's wrong, and I'm not basing that off of prejudice because I don't hate gay people. In fact, I've said this before, um, and it, this, is, this is the point where somebody in the 1115 service walked out. Homosexuals are welcome in this church. In fact, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. And it's my prayer that, uh, that, that through, through hearing the gospel, you will understand that Jesus Christ died on the cross to set you free from what you're enslaved in. I am glad you're here, and you're always welcome to attend this church. I don't hate you, and God doesn't hate you. But the sin that you commit did put Jesus on the cross, and you need to honestly evaluate and, and look at that. That's, that's my view, and that's our church's view on homosexuality.